Hello YouTube, Jerry Kirkpatrick here. And in my last video, I showed how I put two different bits in each one of my tool holders. So it takes up less space in my tool holder rack over by the lathe. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the rack itself. So let's get over to the lathe and we'll take a look at how that is put together. So here is my tool rack with all of the tool holders that I have presently. And if you notice, all of the tool holders are one inch wide, except for the parting tool, which is an inch and a quarter wide. So the, the spacing can be pretty much an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half all the way across. And here is the rack without any of the tool holders in. And all these are is the double pegboard pegs. And they are about two inches long and they're double as you can see I tried the singles but every time you pick one up uh, they just flop around so I would suggest using the doubles and the magnet is just a Harbor Freight magnet and it's 18 inches long and it's just about right for this number of hooks and the total length you could you could make this same arrangement if you wanted to make it by just using a piece of wood or a piece of sheet metal uh, strap stock you could get away with doing this with a piece of say quarter by two uh, 18 inches long you can see that you don't need much more than two inches to affect this arrangement. So with a piece of wood, two or two and a half by 18, you could have exactly what's here. Uh, the magnet is dirt cheap at Harbor Freight. And these hooks are between two and four dollars at your local hardware store. And you can see here, it's quite stable. So there you have a very economical uh, tool rack uh, and almost no time spent. Uh, just put in some hooks, screw a magnet, and off you go. So thank you very much to all of those who have bought me coffee and my patrons. Uh, the next video will be on uh, making a stainless steel can for my disc grinder. Uh, you might find it interesting in the way that I do the bending and the welding. Uh, I don't have a break, so you'll see how you can break longer pieces uh, easily without owning a break. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. See you later.